Good morning. We are making olive oil soap and now we are going to make liquid soap out of soap residue, soap making residue. So I have my part here and I'm going to start cleaning it up to get ready for our soap. And as you can see, I have soap all around it. The easiest way to make soap without clogging your sink is not to wash the part as soon as you are done wash, uh, get, making soap. Otherwise, it will be oily and over time it might clog your sink. So what I like to do is I'll just let the part rest probably for weeks, months, depending on how I feel. And as you can see, it will turn into soap as well. You can see that it's foaming up. And that's liquid soap right there. So now I'm just going to scrape all of this all this residue in the water. And I like to turn that into liquid soap that I can add to my washing machine when I'm doing laundry, especially kids' clothes. And I don't use it much, but I do use it times to times. So that's how I repurpose things around. And I'm just using my finger, and my hand is clean. I'm just using my finger to scrape all those pieces, soap residue, off of the Scraper. Is it scraper or is it a spoon, a spatula, probably? And I'm just going to get everything off. And sometimes I'll just use a clean towel too, like a sponge. I'll use the clean towel to pretty much wash off all of these things into the water. Or a clean rock. I use it like a sponge and just get everything off. And as you can see, just like if I'm cleaning the parts. That's how I'll get all the soap into the water. And pretty much everything is off the part now. I just want to make sure I got, en I got enough of this one as well. You can use a little water here to wash it off. And we have our soap, our liquid soap here. Let me show you. So we have our liquid soap here. It's kind of hard to wash it to see it, right? Do you see it foaming up? Yeah. So now I'm going to get my the one that I have here, let me see if I can open this. And I'm just going to add it to it. And we just made liquid soap. So I use, right now I use washing soda to wash clothes. And times to times I'll just add a little bit of uh, liquid soap to the machine as well. Just a little bit. So now let's wash our parts. 
and as you can see it was soaked, soaked before so that means the part is just clean you know That's a clean part to start making our soap. Thank you for watching. I'm Afia V. Ojune, Libreman, creators of Libreman Consulting LLC L L C YouTube channel and owners of Nina Soap. And our website is ninasoap.com. We just make solution liquid soap out of our residue. The part is clean. Now we'll move to the next step, which will be to measure the oils. See you in the next video. Thank you.